Hey guys, how's it going? In this video I'll be comparing the Galaxy Nexus to its next much rumored successor which would be the LG Nexus 4 or the LG Nexus. Now I would be doing a hardware comparison and a software comparison because I don't have the actual device and I would just be talking about it in general with you. So stay with me as I compare both of the specifications and the major differences between both of these phones. Now the Galaxy Nexus is going to be running a dual core 1.2 GHz Cortex A9 processor. Now that is a really fast processor and there is no such thing as lag on this phone. That is something I can tell you from the bottom of my heart and really honestly because I have used this phone for six months now and it has been really fast and no lag at all. I am coming from a Blackberry. I used a Blackberry for two years so when coming on this I felt like you know I broke out of a prison or something but yeah. So the 1.2 gigahertz Cortex A9 dual core processor is awesome. Give me a thumbs up if you think the same way. While the LG Nexus 4 would be ha having a 1.5 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon S4 Pro CPU. Now it's going to be a quad core, so that means not two cores, four cores, which is pretty sweet for a smartphone. And it would be 1.5 gigahertz, that's 0.3 gigahertz faster than the Galaxy Nexus Plus two more cores don't forget that so in terms of speed we know it is going to beat this guy hands down but this guy can keep up he is really fast as I explained earlier and they might be able to go head to head but the truth and the fact still remains is that LG Nexus 4 would be running a 1.5 GHz quad core Snapdragon S4 Pro CPU and this guy would be running a 1.2 gigahertz dual core Cortex A9. So LG Nexus 4 would be faster, definitely. The RAM on this bad guy is 1 gig. Pretty fast, can do anything, absolutely anything for me. I've done tons of stuff. I've played loads of games, do a lot of stuff, and it does all of that perfectly. But the LG Nexus 4 would be doing it more perfectly because it comes with two gigabytes of RAM which makes the phone even more super makes it like a super phone not a smartphone so a thumbs up for the yeah, for the LG or a thumbs up for the Galaxy Nexus if you think one gig is enough for RAM the display would be almost the same this has a 1280 by 720 display it's 4.65 inches the screen it's pretty big enough you know to watch videos to play games the LG would have a 1280 by 768 inch display that's uh, a little bigger that's 4.7 inches so that's like 0.5 inches bigger it would be a slight a slight difference trust me just a little bit not much barely noticeable well a little noticeable but not much. Now the cameras the LG Nexus 4 is rumored to have a 8 megapixel camera so we all know that the Galaxy Nexus it has a 5 megapixel camera shoots decent pictures not very good if you are a photographer or take a lot of pictures you would notice that it's not the best out there but it's pretty decent but 8 megapixel beats this guy hands down we all know that front facing camera 1.3 megapixel the LG Nexus 4 would have one as well 1.3 or 2 megapixel <coughs> as rumored memory on this guy is 16 gig onboard memory well you can get more from on the cloud Dropbox or Google Drive while the LG Nexus 4 is rumored to have an 8 gig memory well that's like 8 gig down but I doubt if they would just have an 8 gig model because if they would just have an 8 gig mobile that won't be good that would turn many people off so please 
LG and Google don't do that give it at least a 16 gig hopefully that would be a 16 and a 32 let's see what Google has to do both would be running OS 4.1.2 Jelly Bean the latest software which was updated a few days ago this just got the update I think uh, four days ago while the LG Nexus 4 would come pre-installed with Android version 4.1.2 so yeah if you're a fan of that just know that you would have tons of jelly bean to play with yay jelly bean yay I love jelly bean yay so yeah guys well never mind I'm sorry about that sorry about the jelly beans they're really addictive so the same OS is trust Google <clears throat> other features such as, such as NFC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi they'd be on the LG Nexus 4 and they're already here on the Galaxy Nexus both won't have any SD card slot for some reason Google is trying to promote cloud storage so that is the main reason I believe is that no SD card slot on any Nexus device the LG however would not have a removable battery but the Galaxy Nexus does have a removable one you can just bring out the back cover and pop it out whenever you want and pop it back in but the LG Nexus 4, Nexus 4 wouldn't so that's a that's a thumbs down for LG over there because I love to I love the external batteries I can change one I can keep an extra one if I want to in case if my phone freezes I can change that but on the LG Nexus 4 you won't be able to do that now it is going to be announced on October 29 as rumored so hopefully we'll see that well guys this was just a brief comparison in terms of specs between the LG Nexus 4 and the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. The choice is yours, whichever you want to buy. Some people like something, some people like something. It all comes down to personal satisfaction. Whatever satisfies you, whatever your preferences are, that's what you'd stick to. So I hope you guys like this review. It's just a brief one. Try to keep it as short as possible. Please do give me a thumbs up if you want to see more brief reviews or more gadget reviews. And uh, subscribe to my channel as I constantly post stuff about Android, smartphones, and apps. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.